The quest for agility, especially in optimizing properties during material manufacturing, has been elusive in product manufacturing until now. Researchers at the Idaho National Laboratory have developed the Portable Positron Measurement System, or PPMS, which non-destructively tests materials at the atomic level throughout the production process. PPMS provides feedback and control capabilities during high temperature fabrication, solidification, and heat treatment. It uses photon-induced positron annihilation to ascertain material properties. Until now, engineers relied upon non-destructive and destructive testing of completed product samples, which has yielded unacceptable failure rates. Simultaneous manufacturing and monitoring were prevented by the complex interplay of temperature, time at temperature, cooling rates, heat treatments, and strain reduction during fabrication and heat treatment. The PPMS is a highly automated portable system for in-situ use at commercial facilities. This system allows you to measure the sub-nanoscale lattice structure of materials directly and also to measure the change in dislocation densities of those materials very precisely. It allows you to monitor the entire material formation process from the actual initial melting through the cooling and the heat treatment process itself. Initially developed to optimize the production of high-quality semiconductor and scintillation detector materials for national security, this technology uniquely characterizes metallic and non-metallic materials during material formation processes involving melt, solidification, and or heat treatment. The PPMS works on the principle that positrons, which are positively charged electrons, interact with the electronic structure of a material and provide a direct measure of that electronic structure. And as you change that material, due to the introduction of dislocations into the material, it allows you to quantify that also. This allows us to monitor the entire process of a material formation from the initial liquefaction, solidification, and through the entire heat treatment process. In contrast, other materials previously to this technique only allowed you to monitor between about 10 and 50 microns into the material, whereas the PPMS allows us to measure up to 10 centimeters into the material and allows us to depth profile the material to monitor the atomic properties of that material during the entire material fabrication process. Small, portable, and automated, PPMS uses radioisotopes or a linear accelerator to induce positrons in a material during production, even in materials being formed in furnaces at 1600 degrees centigrade. PPMS provides data on critical properties of the material, such as lattice structure changes, dislocation density, pore size and density, and strain. An automated scanning system is used to profile the positron response at various locations in the material to evaluate homogeneity and the development of multiple phases or inclusions during the process. Features of the system include fully automated data acquisition and analysis, suitable for non-physics or non-technical users, system performance monitoring with control charts, material-specific preset parametric analysis variables, continuous data acquisition analysis mode, easily modifiable for continuous QA applications. PPMS surpasses all current formation processes by monitoring material properties throughout the formation process, operating in production environments instead of post-production situations, functioning in high temperature environments as high as 300 to 1600 degrees centigrade, recording continuous feedback data for production control, and presenting fully automated quality analysis during production. PPMS is very easy to use and requires minimal operator training. Best of all, it offers a low product cost and maintenance expenditures. PPMS solves the mystery of knowing the material condition of a product as it is formed. The ability to know this offers exciting changes to material production and product quality. <laughs>